I'm gonna tell you this. Just because negativity gets thrown your way doesn't mean you have to entertain it. No, like for real, you do not have to entertain it. Cause see it this way. If you were to entertain every single negative thing that gets thrown your way, you would never be at peace because you'd be so busy trying to match energy. And since you match energy, that means that you would never think for yourself. You will let others think for you. And that's something that we just cannot do. You feel me? Now, don't get me wrong. I used to always match energy. You treat me wrong, I treat you wrong back. Match energy. And then I realized that that serves no good at all. It just creates more chaos and it creates more distractions. And like how I said, it's not peaceful. It's the complete opposite. So with that, I don't know about you, but I know about me. And I do not want to live my life like that at all, whatsoever. Stop responding to the negativity and live your life accordingly. That's the best way to live your life. Love can be a dangerous thing if you don't handle it the right way. And what I mean is, is like, say you're in a relationship and you and this person always get into it. Y'all always argue and there's no good in the situation at all. And to be honest, the best thing for y'all to do is to break up and go y'all separate ways. But y'all choose not to do that because y'all are so attached to each other. Even though it's not healthy, y'all are attached and you guys are damaging each other back and forth continuously. I'm gonna tell you this, at some point in time, when you're going through stuff like that, you have to go your own way because it's only gonna get worse. If you are in a toxic environment, an environment that's not healthy for you at all whatsoever, you gotta leave, truthfully. You really do. Because when you are attached to somebody that you love and you know they're not good for you, I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to leave because you are attached to the good memories and stuff like that. Even though that this person may be treating you wrong, you are attached to the beginning of how they were. You can't do that, bro. Because if you do, you are only gonna hurt yourself even more. And I don't want that for you, fam. Truthfully. I'm not even gonna lie, fam. Love can blind you. It really can. You can love someone so much to the point that you don't see the red flags. You don't see how they mistreat you. You don't see how they disrespect you. You don't see all these things until you fall out of love with them. And that sucks, truthfully. You know, I've been in a relationship when I was so in love with this woman, this, that, and then she was doing certain things that were not okay. Big red flags, but I didn't see it because I was so blinded by her beauty and how she looked and how she talked the sound of her voice, this, that, I couldn't see the red flags until I fell out of love with her and I realized all these things that she was doing. That is one of the toughest things you have to experience. Truthfully, it really is, fam. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But at the same time, I'm glad that I went through that because it's like now, whenever I interact with a woman, I see the green flags, I see the red flags right away. I'm very much self-aware now. And I feel like sometimes we have to go through that just so we can become more aware and more in tune with ourselves and our emotions. Never rely on people. And the crazy thing is, bro, I know grown adults that rely on people for everything. For everything, yo. And understand, when you rely on someone, yes, they may help you a few times, but it's not gonna be no continuous thing. They not gonna take care of you. Like, fam, you gotta get on your own. Truthfully, nobody for the babysit you, none of that. Cause I understand bro, if you don't get on your own, you set yourself up for a disaster. Cause like, yeah, when you relying on people, asking people for things and stuff like that, they gonna help you. For the people that love you, they will help you. It's just not gonna last because they're gonna figure out, this person is using me for everything. This person isn't trying to help themselves and they're not gonna put up with it. I'm telling you. I had a few people come to me a few times to rely on me. Hey bro, can you do this? Can you do that? I got you, I do. But once I realized that you're trying to use me and abuse my kindness, oh, I'm taking a step back. You gotta do it on your own because you expect me to do all this stuff for you. 
and I'm getting nothing in return. But that's not even what matters. It's just that you're not helping yourself. And I can't help someone who doesn't want to help themselves, truthfully.